three-stop subway that is unnecessary and actually doesn't provide as much service as the LRT would have in Scarborough. That being said, though, if the money is collected, I'd rather it actually be put into reserve because we have real priorities. We need to focus on uh, capital projects like the Relief Subway Line, which is the evidence-based next subway expansion priority. We also need to consider ice storms, floods, other major capital priorities that we're going to have to deal with that may or may not be unexpected. The reality is, and by the way, we can expect the unexpected because we're going to get another storm. The reality is, uh, council, this council already has wasted about $100 million in sunk costs from the original LRT plan. I don't want to see them do the same thing with the subway plan. So if they want to start taxing and taxing people for a project that doesn't make sense, well, they're going to do it. I oppose it, they're going to do it. But at the very least, let's wait to see who the next mayor is and what the composition of the next council might be before we start throwing money uh, out uh, uh, after the next. So you're saying collect the money and let's put it in a reserve and not spend it. If council is resolute about taxing people uh, uh, even further for a project that's unnecessary, then at the very least put it in a reserve because just like, uh, just like uh, any household that knows that they have priorities that they need to fund, that they might have a roof that collapses, you need to put money in the reserves. If you just start blowing it on something that may or may not happen, uh, it's, it's, it's going to go down the tubes. Do you think the Scarborough subway is a done deal or is this going to be reopened again? It's certainly not a done deal. I mean, the good news is there's a lot of great transit that's happening. The Eglinton Crosstown is being built. The Union Pierce Express is being constructed. There are dozens of projects around the GTA, so it's not like no transit's happening. But this specific line, what council is doing by taxing us over 30 years and increasing our debt by almost a billion dollars is a boondoggle. It's scandalous. It's tying our hands. It's bringing us. It's bringing us up to that debt ceiling. That means that we will not have money for real priorities like the relief subway line, and like the many many repairs, the roads, all the things that we need to do across a really big city. So you're hoping the next mayor will reopen this debate. I'm hoping the next mayor brings a thoughtful, reasonable, and fiscally uh, uh, responsible approach to this whole issue. Uh, this mayor is just doing this for politics, and I think it's uh, it's unconscionable. How much traction do you think you'll get with this from councils? <sighs> to be honest, uh, it hasn't been great so far. Uh, I think uh, uh, too many councillors are putting politics before evidence, and I think that's shameful. Um, I understand that there's a lot of pressures on every councillor and the mayor. But that being said, this isn't about us. It's about Toronto. It's about the residents of Scarborough too. And I actually think that the uh, the LRT doesn't work everywhere in the city. I think a relief subway line needs to go where you've got density and projected population growth. But the LRT on this line in Scarborough actually wouldn't have gone through any traffic signals. It would have it would have taken not a single car lane away, and it would have provided more service to more people for fewer dollars. It actually was the fiscally conservative and evidence-based planning decision. And this council, based on politics, threw it out the window. How do you, how do you uh, fund the downtown relief line if you don't want to go in debt or tax on The relief line is part of the Metro Link's Big Are you familiar with the Big East? Very familiar. Okay, Big East. So, so, I know that. But you're saying no funding, no tax, no tax, no debt. For this three stop subway expansion. That's right. Are you so we should have the debt load and the tax in the downtown relief fund? I didn't say that. How do you pay for the downtown relief fund then? I, well, I was about to say, so the relief line is part of the big move, which is the province's and Metrolinx's plan for transportation expansion in the greater Toronto area. So they're now having a conversation about whether it could be revenue tools, what kind of revenue tools. They're having a conversation about that. I do think that if we were to, like, I don't actually believe in putting our property taxes into those into capital projects for transit. So I think you need to look at specific revenue tools mm -hmm. that are aligned with that. And actually, council's position, our formal position just last year, was that we actually voted against using property taxes to fund uh, transit expansion projects. And now it seems like council wants to do that. So I think that's completely hypocritical. That's not what I'm suggesting. So not tax, new taxes, just new revenue tools. Well, yeah, it depends what it is. Okay. Now it could be, uh, it depends what the province decides. And I know that they're looking at a number of different tools. Some of them might be fees. No, they're looking at giving you guys the powers. Not entirely. No, not entirely. But do you know that? Do you know that to be true? Yeah, I've talked to the Premier about it several times. Do you, and they are going to give you the powers to have revenue tools. Let's see what they are. Let's see what they are. They shouldn't be property taxes, though. No, revenue tools. So what's the difference between the tax and the revenue tools? You know that. 
Is that a serious question? Because there are there are fees, there are different users' fees, road tolls, things like that. No, no, you're using rhetoric that's disingenuous and dishonest. No, you, you are, because there's a difference between fees and taxes. There is a difference between fees and taxes. That's just facts. Hi. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, Josh. Thank you. <coughs> Thanks, Josh.